Hey guys, it's JamieBot, and in this video I want to talk about Angular theming and how you can get going in as little code as possible. Okay, so I have my own blank site here, and it just has a button on it, and everything's white so there's no coloring yet. So here's that button I was talking about. I'm going to quickly add two more buttons so we can experiment with the theming. Okay, now we have two more buttons for a total of three, and there they are on the site but they're all still white. Okay, so the way we add theming to our project is we find the file in our project called styles.css, and then we click on that guy, and then um, we add a line just like this. So we need to import, um, this is importing a pre-built theme from Angular Material. So Angular Material pre-built themes slash indigo pink, and then this indigo pink can be any of these. Um, I've dug inside the code and found all of the values for you guys. So here you are, you can have deep purple amber, indigo pink, pink blue gray, and purple green. Okay, so just pick one of those and put it right here. Oh, and if the buttons aren't working for you guys, make sure you go in your app module file and you import the map button module and the browser animations module. Okay, now for the fun part. So go to wherever the elements you want to style are, and this will only work with the angular material elements, so like buttons or icons, um, anything that's uh, listed on their site here, like any of these components, they all have theming. Well, most of them do. Okay, so adding the color works with most of those components that I just showed you. Um, but how you actually add the color is you just type in color equals either primary, accent, or warm. And those colors are all defined inside of the thing that we imported into the CSS, that pre-built theme. Um, if you want to declare your own colors, um, I'll link to a video in which I show you how to do that in excruciating detail, as well as um, theme your own components which aren't part of Angular Material. Okay, now I've filled in the uh, primary accent and warning colors, just like I was saying, um, and now our buttons are colored primary accent and warning, respectively. So that's basically all there is to the basics. I can show you what one of those other color schemes look like. So if we go to styles.css, and then we'll change indigo pink for deep purple amber, and then just save that, and that easy, we get a completely different color scheme now. Um, the worn color is the same, but uh, the primary and accent have changed. Um, so yeah, this is like the basics of Angular theming, you guys. Um, if you're interested in the more advanced, like defining your own stuff, be sure to check out that other video. Alright, so that's the end of the video, guys. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Um, leave a like if you did enjoy. Leave a comment if you have any issues. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video.